thankfully it's Friday. Yes, thankfully. Man, it has been a rough week this week. It has. Uh, we've been on the go since Monday, so. Yeah. It's been interesting. Hopefully it'll lighten up for the weekend. Yeah, we had a, our business meeting last Saturday, so you know, it was kind of on the go Monday through Saturday. Sunday was like, all right, let's prep everything, get ready for it to come in. Well, guess what? It didn't come in. So, <laughs> we, uh, what we were going to show new, we can't really show it because we don't have it. It's supposed to be in this evening, but I highly doubt I'm going to come back after I five. I understand that. <laughs> I doubt she'll be here after five. So. I'm hoping to get out of here by three today. That's my, that's my daily goal today is to, to get out of here by 3 p.m. today. Well, our last shop don't close till five, so we're kind of, you know, we're out till they close. So there you go. That's this business. So, Work. but you know, last week's bundle was the orange. Well, we got blue this time. We got all blue this time. Yes. So. So. Blue, blue, blue. Yep. Somebody already took our ratchet set. That was blue. They're like, well, can I just get this? So we just let them get it. So. Yeah. We got another one on the way to replace that one, or they can replace it with whichever one they want. Some but. guy said that's probably twenty dollars a week for a year. I was like, uh, a year won't touch it. You know, the box costs more than that. So, uh, I think what it normally comes out to is two hundred sixty payments, maybe. But now I'll throw this out there. So, if that is under, I think worst credit highest interest rate is twenty dollars a week yeah better credit better interest rate lower payment you know mm -hmm. less payments but um on that if your payment's 20 if you can pay more than 20 maco's interest is really neat because that extra five dollars goes straight toward that principal it don't go toward the interest if you pay the 20 yeah you're gonna pay it well out. i mean i don't care you can tell everybody but what my weekly payment is on my box what it's supposed to be uh, and then you can tell them what i pay on it so they'll understand what you're talking about okay because I, I don't care all right so let me go to your screen Wait, so now me. you guys will get an inside on what the big 6s with the top box and two lockers and all that all right so yours payment your minimum payment is forty three dollars and sixty four cents mm -hmm. currently you are ahead are you okay with me saying that sure. you are ahead thirty eight hundred dollars and some like i think thirty eight fifty three ninety one so every payment you make goes directly toward the principal so you should have your box paid off in a pretty good amount of time i mean like pretty quick so my payment's forty three yes but even on tight weeks, I only paid 75. Yeah. So, so that additional goes directly toward that principal. But every other week I pay 150. So, so you. That's how that works. <laughs> which, and that's what we tell people because somebody like, they want to do the starter credit, which is mm -hmm. fine. Some distributors do it, some don't. It's just, I guess it's how good of a customer were you to start with kind of situation. Right. Well, if you get a regular standard PSA, I think one of them we got was 5000 is what he got approved for. Now, he didn't have good credit. That's what he got his minimum, you know, thing was he got approved 5000 for tools, 8000 if he wanted to add a box. Because, you know, boxes cost a little bit more than regular tools. So, that was fine. His payment was... You'll give me a second. See, y'all are getting all your financing questions answered today. Well, Michael's better at the finance questions. I just kind of know the gist of it because I'm like, normally he's up there and I'm like, hey, so-and-so just got approved for this. How can I, you know, right. tell him how to do it correctly? Because we have, in our area, we have Snap-on, Cornwell, and uh, uh, Independent. So they each have different interests. Mm -hmm. And so Snap-on's interest is different than Michael's interest. Most of our guys have a Snap-on box. Luckily, they kind of got them paid off or trying to pay them off. And they're like, well, I don't want to get back into this because I just paid my box off, but I still have this much interest left. And I'm like, yeah, well, ours ain't like that. Yeah. So let me see. Uh, got to so, remember his name. So guys ask me all the time about it. So that's the rundown. So if you buy this box, the lowest payment would be, say, 20 bucks a week if you didn't have great credit. Exactly. 
and so. it may be fourteen dollars a week if you got good credit. Who knows, you know? But it's always better to whatever this number is. Figure that on your low side. Like exactly. when things are tight, can I make that payment? All right. But try to pay more on it. Exactly. So the guy I was getting to, which I finally pulled up his account, he got approved for five thousand. Anything Maco does, anything below twenty five hundred is fifteen dollars a week. Worst interest, worst credit. You know, if you get approved which is fine, standard PSA. On his, he has, his payment is $20, that's his. He pays $75 a week. He wanted to add something to his account, but he didn't want to add to his PSA. So I said, okay, so we know our minimum payment is this. How much are you willing to, you know, pay on your truck account? I said, because we know what his maximum budget is, it's $75 a week. Right. So, he knows that his what his range is for his truck account because we try to keep y'all in terms so you can buy more tools and we can buy more tools. So, but I mean, it helps out like you. I mean, your head, something happens, you go on mm -hmm. vacation, you go to shoot videos somewhere else, you know, you're covered for a little bit so it don't hurt your credit. Sure. Yeah. Well, and two, like it just saves you on that interest, right? I might yeah. end up saving two thousand dollars by paying my box off early. Who knows? Yeah. You know? So whenever we do the PSA, which I know Michael did it with you too, because I said it right there. But uh, we'll turn the screen around, or if we have the laptop, we'll show mm -hmm. it around, and we'll say, okay, so this is what your principal is. This is if you make your minimum payment. This is the interest you're going to pay out. Right. You can avoid almost all of this interest if you would just pay just a little bit more. So, there you go. but I got some good news on the other side of the financial part. Besides that, look, you got my speaker. They come in. Well, look at so, you. It's a good day. You I take a excited. bad day and turn it into a good day. Well, so now, if I don't knock it off, now my truck account goes to a positive balance because. Exactly. <laughs> but see, you still cover, you mean you pay more than what you're supposed to on your credit, so you have that. You right. know, you can so, fluctuate back and forth. Guys, this is how I do it, right? Like, because I only owe the Matco truck. Exactly. You know, so what I do is I figure, okay, my weekly budget that I'm willing to spend on a tool truck is $150. So we all know my toolbox payment was 43 Yeah. So if I buy something on the tool truck, I'll split the payment between my, you know, I'll pay 75 on my tool truck account, 75 on my box. Yep. And I'm still paying above the minimum. So that's kind of how my brain works with buying stuff that I don't really need. <laughs> well, and also on our credit account, I meant to throw this one out there too, is so it gives you the option of what you want to set your payment at. You have your minimum, which mm -hmm. the minimum for yours was 43, or you could set it to be $100 a week. We always set ours to the minimum balance because, or the minimum payment, because if something happens, you can pay that minimum. Yeah. Not, okay, well, I said it to be a hundred. Well, I don't have a hundred dollars this mm -hmm. week. Well, we yeah. actually discussed this when I was, you know, financing my box because my snap on box was 140 something a week. And uh, we talked about it and you're like, you can set it at this amount. I said, like, well, let me do that and I'll still pay the 150 a week or exactly. whatever in that way. I don't have to worry about getting in a bind. Well, it's a lot easier if you set it at 43, some change, so say 44, 45, and you pay extra. Then sure. it's the, if I have $100, well, now I'm out an extra $25, $50. So I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'd rather pay the, you know, the 43, <laughs> you know, and pay a little right. bit more on it. So. so somebody else had left a comment. They said the third t tool dealer did not offer this deal. And I says, ask them about it. Yeah. Cause they all can do it. You know, it's oh, not yes. like a magic trick that my dealers do. You know, maybe they figured out a way to put it all together at a mm -hmm. low payment, but like your guy can do the same thing. Exactly. So. Um, your guy should be on 3.0, should be, be in the keyword. Uh, if not, there's still a, it's called a PSA quick quote. You tell them, okay, so I want this part number, this part, have them wrote down. If you know it, if you right. have the app, save them all to your wish list, your needs list, whatever add them to your cart if you want to do that so you can have the exact price exact amount go to your guy your woman whoever and say this is what i want and how much would it be estimated a you know a week sure. or in total they should be able to type it in just in general and then you know you'll have a, an idea run your credit get the 
you know, the PSA app to see exactly how much you could get approved for. Because, I mean, heck, you might get a little bit more, and then you're like, well, I want to add this, this, and this to it. Mm -hmm. Sure. <laughs> but I think the app also gives you the option to uh, run a credit app without going to your distributor. Because we had a guy do that, and he got approved for more than what he thought because he didn't want to do it on the truck because the other guys were on the truck, and he was afraid sure. that we would say, well, you got, you know, denied. Mm -hmm. We don't ever do that. We actually discuss we wait till everybody gets off the truck if you get approved or denied so there if we go. say hey stay a minute it's not because you got denied you know mm -hmm. it's just we're respectful in that way and the truck account like a lot of people don't really understand that either and i've tried to explain that so i'll just verbally do that so let's say you want this set of extra long box in ratchet and wrenches let's say the price is this is not the price. I'm just throwing it out there for easy number. Let's say it's 300 bucks, right? Okay. So instead of you paying $300 plus tax for that, which would be 321 bucks, mm -hmm. you would talk to your distributor and they may say, okay, give me $35 a week on that. And then you'd pay it off. Most of the time it's over a 10 week period. You'd yeah. pay your payment the day you get it. And then, but pay your tool dealers, guys. Like, that's the important thing because if they can't pay their tool bill, their shelves will be empty. Yeah. And that's all your fault at that point. So. Exactly. And it's the whole question of why are you not, you know, why is your shelves like, right. we're missing some stuff. Yes, we have it on order, I promise. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just hadn't come in. Next week, when you do the video, truck's going to be loaded. True. So it happens. I'll give you an example of that. So, our stream lights, as you can tell, we're kind of running a little bit low on stream lights. Maco has a warranty process. Our truck has a warranty process. So you grab a stream light, you're, it's broke. We'll do the USB pin light because that's mm -hmm. the most common stylus. I think it's stream light stylus USB. Stylus Pro USB. Yes. Yeah. So we have tons of shops that they'll come on and they're like, hey, look, it's not working. We'll try to fix the button because, you know, that's the most common yeah. problem with them is the button. We'll switch them out still not working well are you just going to send it off no we're going to go back there on that shelf and we're going to pull you one off the same color swap it out there you go and now we're going to send them in now we're at the mercy of the repairs so we're waiting on our replacement to come back in we also have some on order and we had a guy get on here and he said you haven't had you know why are you not got any well he was like We've got them on order. We have the ones sent off for repair. We're just waiting on them to come in. He's like, well, every time you get them in, they're gone. And he was like, look, we warranty ours out. He's like, well, the other tool truck, I'm not saying no names, has tons of them. He said, he's got them hanging from floor to ceiling. He was like, okay, we'll go to him, get him to warranty an out because Streamlight warranties. Well, he won't do that. He'll take mine, he'll send it off, and he'll bring it, you know, bring mine back. Well, okay, we'll let him do that, or I can do that. You know, it's easy. Well, he was upset because, you know, he couldn't do yeah. it. But anyways, some trucks have plenty of stuff. They don't warranty out like that. Some do, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just every truck is All depends is on the dealer. Exactly. That's I it. mean, it could be Maco, Cornwell, Snap-on. They all have different processes. I mean, but we'll try our best to help you out. That's why we have like, you know, sets missing and stuff like that. If we can look and it's in stock, I'll pull it off the shelf. Michael will pull it off the shelf. We'll give it to you. Sure. And then we'll just order the replacement. Streamlight, you see it. We, if we have the one that you need warranted out and it's one that you can warranty just straight, mm -hmm. you know, product for product, we'll do that. If it's one, um, I think I got a whole bag of them over here. Like, mm, like this one. So it's not coming on. The button's been replaced. It's been sent off. I can't replace this one product for product because they're gonna send it back repaired. Right. So, but other than that, the other ones like these right here, all have been warranted this week. We just pulled them off the shelf. Sure. So you have the little, the battery one, that's mm -hmm. lifetime warranty. And you have the little USB, this little coyote light, mm -hmm. you know, little bitty one. And then, the one we were just talking about. We so just, you got a regular stylus, a micro stream, and then a stylus USB. Pro. Exactly. So the three smaller ones, we pulled them off the rack right. and gave them to them. So we have their old ones. We're going to send those off and we're going to get them back. And we're going to throw them back on the shelf. The other one I had to send off. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's kind of a process like that. 
<laughs> there you go. So that's how it works. So hopefully this answered all the questions on the finance. And so now you know how you can get a box and a combo deal just like this one and save yourself some money. All right, guys, it's Friday. Hopefully you enjoy your weekend. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up. Check over for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes in the description. We've got some new ones in there. Check them out. And if you're not subscribed, click that button. It's free. Y'all have a great weekend. See ya.